stuff no matter how nice it might be so just quit bothering me I have been inundated for years but it's definitely getting worse with offers of free crap all the time sometimes it comes with conditions that I plug your free crap let me go through the list of things I've been offered over the years free use of an RV don't care got my own free use of your vacation property don't care, I can rent one. Free cell phone accessories, free cameras, free camera accessories, free this, free that. <laughs> Don't want it, I'm tired of it. Leave me alone. Now some people just say, well, what's wrong with that? People are offering you free stuff. I'm tired of it. Don't care, don't want it. If I need it, I'll buy it myself, thank you very much. Not interested in the conditions of all these things that are being offered. And of course, some of the things being offered are scams or they're just uh, wanting to waste my time, or they want my phone number. Guess what? I don't want to have lunch with you if I don't know you. And even some of the friendlies try to hack me. <laughs> I love that. They like to send me nice, uh, fun little uh, emails pretending to be my friend. <laughs> they want my phone number and all this stuff. Guess what? You get on what's called the ignore list. Because <laughs> pretty much most people I ignore that contact me. Unless I know you, it ain't no business for you talking to me. It ain't no business for me talking to you. Now, why do I actually not give a damn about getting free stuff? I have what's called a low sense of entitlement. I don't think I'm entitled to any free stuff because I just buy it myself. <laughs> and I suffer very deeply from a sense of low levels of greed. <laughs> I can't be induced with some sort of gift or, you know, use of your vacation property on some island. <laughs> don't care, don't care. Just, you know, it's different if you were my friend and you said, hey, my condo in Maui's available for a week here and, you know, why don't you just uh, throw me a few bucks for the electric bill or something. That'd be different because you're my friend. But... <laughs> If I don't know you and you're making me these grandiose offers, I smell a stinker here or I'm going to be obligated to you at some point to uh, pay you back for that, uh, you know, nicety. I think it's a bunch of hooey. Not interested. Now, some of the tubers out there, they'll take, 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 take if you give, 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 give. <laughs> And it's a bottomless hole of you giving and a bottomless pit of them taking if you go down that road. And I suggest you don't feed the bears. Hey, I am Canadian. And what's the rule of being Canadian out in the bush? You don't feed the bears. Because if you feed the bears, they become dead bears. <laughs> they lose their ability to look after themselves. And that's why I'm a different kind of nomad RVer. I pay for my own travels. I actually travel more than most of these damn people because I jump on planes, which I pay for myself. <laughs> so maybe I'm doing it wrong. I should be begging and taking, begging and taking, begging and taking. I don't know, should I beg and take? No, I shouldn't. What are you freaking thinking about there? Okay, let's give you some real life examples from my email of products I'm asked to push and promote. Some of them could be good, some of them could be complete crap. Don't know, I don't respond. You know, years ago when this started happening, I used to give them a response saying, uh, I'm not really interested, thank you. But now I just ignore them. <laughs> so if you're one of these people sending me invitations to test and uh, enjoy your free product, I'm not interested. So what I did was I just quickly scrolled through the uh, inbox and the spam box and found a few examples of a diverse amount of products that I'm uh, being offered. Okay, let's go to the top here. Um, heated gloves. Yeah. Nice weekend, dear. This is Julia from blah, 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 blah. They tend to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> rain you with platitudes of uh, wonderfulness. <laughs> oh, somebody loves me. Mm. 
Always getting the love from the text messages. Um, anyway, they, they send you messages that uh, say they love your channel and how wonderful you are. And please, would you consider promoting their product? And uh, they'll, they'll send you um, the product. They'll give you a piece of the action for any sales generated from the link on your channel. Some even offer you cash up front. <laughs> That's hard to believe, folks. Uh, the next one, uh, Muse Town. Mm, that one's an interesting one. It's a moisturizer. <laughs> now, why would you ask me to push your moisturizer? Now, why would I push moisturizer? I guess uh, people on YouTube need moisturizer, even the nomads. <laughs> I know, I got moisturizer, but I pay for it myself. And how about this other one from Julia? A heated vest. Hi, happy weekend, blah, blah, blah. Push our heated vest. Wow, what the hell? Why do I need to promote a heated vest? Don't need a heated vest? Thank you very much. And uh, another one here. The Lanmoto Vast uh, night vision system. Hmm. Again. Why do I need a night vision system? <laughs> I just don't know. Now let's look at Mark Lau. Oh, uh, the 2019 winner. Great free product for you. Yeah, it's a, a tactical LED flashlight. I got enough flashlights, thank you very much. Don't need to push yours. Then we have Pan Steven with his 150 watt portable power generator review. I got enough of those inverter power packs. Don't need another one. They keep pushing those. Uh, a lot of them, I guess, will have lithium batteries in them. But I don't need one. Got enough of my own. Thank you very much. That's just, uh, what, six examples of uh, products I've been uh, offered to push. Typically, they uh, also include things like uh, security cameras, uh, cell phone accessories, things that are generally cheap and Chinese-made that cost more to send me than they actually cost to manufacture. That's my take on it all. Not interested? Don't keep offering to send me this stuff. I'm definitely not going to promote it. Now some of those millennials need to be the worst because they have a sense of self-importance because their parents told them that they get a trophy for participating in life. And mom said they were the best. They still think they're the best. <laughs> Whereas the rest of us older people, we knew we were just average slobs like the rest of humanity. And we had to just make it on our own. So what's wrong with making it on your own, paying for things on your own, and not accepting gratuitous gifts all the time? It's pathetic. Now, between friends and good company, you know, I buy you lunch, you buy me lunch. You know, these token types of gestures are nice. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about the big gifts or the corporate sponsorship that's hidden in the background. That's really unethical because a lot of people on YouTube on all sorts of genres, they're taking stuff, pushing products, and they ain't telling anybody that they're doing that. I've even been offered cash to push stuff. I'm definitely not going to be taking that. That's just wrong. And if I ever did a sponsorship deal, you'd know it's a sponsorship deal because I'd tell you, hey, they're paying me to say this. That's just the way it is. But I would have to think long and hard to do that because, uh, like I said, I'm a different kind of cat here. I zig when they zag because of pride, ethics, and simple moral standards. So what are you being offered? So if you're a tuber out there, please tell me what kind of stuff you've been offered. You've been offered all sorts of shiny trinkets, I imagine. Put the comments down below what you've been offered. Or have uh, people played games with you and made you drive hundreds of miles to get something free that turns out not to be free. I've even heard those stories. Yeah, there are some uh, interesting uh, giving trolls, I will call them, where they uh, offer something really juicy and some poor nomad jumps in their vehicle and drives hundreds of miles to get something for free that doesn't even exist. And it's just a big joke, I guess. <laughs> well, the way you avoid that is don't be responding, don't be taking, and don't be expecting. Paying for it all yourself allows you to be what's called self-sponsored in life. Yeah, it's your life. You've got the biggest stake in your own life, so why shouldn't you pay for your own dreams? Do not expect others to pay for what you are dreaming 
of doing. So is there anything uh, wrong with what I'm thinking? Correct me in the comments section below if you think I'm wrong. Now there's always a contrarian that says, hey, you should take, you should use, you should abuse. <laughs> that could be you. If you're a contrarian and you think, uh, I am in this life to take, 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 if people are dumb to give, give, give. <laughs> if that's you, I want to hear about it. It's fascinating. This human experiment we call life is really interesting sometimes on how people conduct themselves. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating because it's real. So that's how I uh, see things here as the sun is slowly setting here on the west coast of western Canada and I'm hunkering down for a cold night but uh, still not too cold right now but hey it is almost winter what can you expect in the meantime folks I'll talk to you soon keep your wheels on the ground over and over